Hey everyone, welcome to the cabin. My name is Alec Britz, and today we're going to be checking out the Manly Reference Cardioid Microphone. I'm going to show you everything you get when you purchase the microphone, and most importantly how it sounds. Both with a full track recorded with only this microphone, and at the end of the video you'll be able to hear each of the stems individually. Big thanks as always to Studio Care for making these videos a possibility. Let's jump right in. The Manly Reference Cardioid ships in a beautiful, sturdy, plastic case. Opening it up shows us the owner's manual. We have some extra elastic bands for the shock mount system, which I will show you in just a second. We also have the mounting system over here. You just screw this part into the shock mount itself, mount that onto the stand, and you're good to go. It feels extremely heavy and feels like it's going to last a really long time. I like the small details of the fact that there is a rubber grommet over here to ensure that the shock mount doesn't get scratched as you tighten this in. Next to that, we have our power cable, which is just labeled Manly, feels thick and extremely robust. We then have our Manly power supply. This is Manly's new switching power supply, which allows you to operate it from 100 volts all the way up to 240 volts. It also lowers the noise of the microphone with the added benefit of being able to take this microphone anywhere around the world for you to work. Moving on to the microphone itself, we have a beautifully sturdy shock mount. The microphone is held in place by 10 really strong elastics with this beautiful little screw system to ensure that they don't come out of place. The microphone ships with a beautiful leather protective case on the top. It has a minus 10 dB pad and again, the build quality feels really sublime on this unit. Next up, you get to hear how the microphone sounds. In this example, you'll hear only this microphone playing an entire production. At the end of the video, you can hear isolated groups of stems. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you at the end with my thoughts. So, the Manly Reference Cardioid Microphone. One of the biggest challenges in making these videos is the fact that I can only use one microphone, no EQ, no compression, only a little bit of reverb and a little limiting on the bus, and of course some vocal tuning because I'm not perfect in singing. So when I heard this mic for the first time, I thought to myself, oh my goodness, this is so open, it's, it's so present and like larger than life. And I picked up an acoustic guitar and I started playing and I realized you need to play so clean because every fret buzz and every little noise that you make is going to be so accentuated. Because the noise flow on the microphone is so good, I just moved the microphone and the acoustic guitar back by like a foot or you know 35 centimeters or whatever the conversion is. I still had to be careful because of how open the mic is to not get too much noise and I 
decided to not use a plectrum and just use my finger instead. But that's one of the best guitar tones I've gotten in a while. And that's saying something because I record a lot of acoustic guitar. Using it on voice, I was really excited because of that beautiful air that is presented with this microphone. I thought this is gonna stack up so beautifully, but I was worried about that four to 8K range where things can kind of get a bit harsh and like stack together and really sibilant, but it didn't happen. It's not to say that it couldn't. If I was recording a particularly sibilant vocalist, then I would have to really carefully place this microphone. If the microphone is too close to the person's face, you will accentuate all of those S's and F's. If you push the microphone slightly further away and angle it down just a touch, sometimes that can really help. Again, because of that really open signature sound, the track sounds a lot more further along in the mixing process without having done anything. When we talk about build quality, Manly has a really good reputation of overbuilding and doing a really good job of that. Not only to make the equipment last as well as possible, but to make it as easy to repair as possible. Anytime I've taken a piece of Manly equipment in and I've owned a Vermeu and a Voxbox in the past, to be calibrated or to have the valves changed, we always comment with the text that everything is so well laid out and it's clearly built by hand because it's so easy to fix. In the instruction manual of the Manly, this is the first time I've ever seen a manufacturer go, if you ever need to change a valve, this is how you do it. Unscrew this, pull everything out, and everything will be ready to go. Just be careful that you don't hurt the capsule. And as I was reading it, I was going, hey, usually this is like a biohazard. People are like, never open your piece of equipment. If something is wrong, you need to send it right back to the original manufacturer so that some ancient human monk can fix your equipment. Manly is like, you can do it. You just gotta be really careful. And if anything goes wrong, make sure that you contact them. If you need to get a valve for it, contact them so that they can send you the perfect valve for this mic. I only really have one complaint with this microphone and one kind of concern. As you saw in the video, this cable is blue and it's a nice soft blue. It's not too dark, it's not too shiny or anything like that. When you're filming, it does show up a little bit. The build quality of the cable itself is absolutely unbelievable and again no real surprise here but it's a little something to keep in mind and I do wonder if it's possible to order it with a black cable as opposed to a blue cable. The last thing to talk about with this microphone is its overall sonic structure and what that means if it's the only microphone in your cabinet. If you are recording yourself with this microphone then try it out if you can because if you are very sibilant or if you have a lot of harsh tendencies within your voice that you wrestle with a lot in the mix, then it may not be the perfect fit for you. I have two clients that are very sibilant in that like three and a half to 5K range, and that would have been a little bit ear piercing, I think, with this particular microphone. Of course, with things like soothe and de you can get around these things, but it's just something worth keeping in mind. Overall, the build quality is unbelievable. The service from Manly is absolutely fantastic. I love the fact that they make everything in-house. All their transformers are wound in-house to the highest degree. You know you'll never have a problem getting apart and repairing any Anything with them is an absolute breeze. In this studio, this microphone will be such a great companion to my U67s who are quite thick sounding, whereas this is so flattering and open. I would love to be able to have both all the time. If you're curious about the microphone preamplifier that I use to amplify everything in this video, including my voice right now, that's the Neumann V402 Mic Pre, and I've handily done a review for it right here. At the end of this video, I'm gonna play out all the stems of the session so you can hear things like all the acoustic guitars together, all the drums together, vocals with backing vocals. So take a listen to that. Thank you very much for watching. If you have subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing. If you would like to subscribe to the channel, please feel free to do so. Most importantly, I hope that you're all looking after yourselves and you're being kind. I'll see you in the next one. Probably didn't stand out The king of awkward and low How can it feel like I've known you for years When I met you on my phone Just like two soulmates in a past life 
just trying to find their way home.